Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our order of business for January 28th, 2021 is electronically held special meeting of the Dearborn Heights City Council. This is a virtual meeting. Madam Clerk, can you please take roll call? Yes. Um, council members, just a reminder to state your location, your city, and your state. Uh, Dave Abdallah. Uh, here, Dearborn Heights, Wayne County, Michigan. Zuhair Abdullah. Dearborn, Wayne County, Michigan. Uh, Moe Dunn. Dearborn Heights, Wayne County, Michigan. Denise Malinowski Maxwell. Dearborn Heights, Wayne County, Michigan. Ray Muscat. Here, Dearborn Heights, Wayne County, Michigan. I think I missed Robert Constant. I'm going alphabetical. <laughs> Here, Dearborn Heights, Wayne County, Michigan. Ray Muscat. Here. Uh, Dearborn Heights, Wayne County, Michigan. And Tom Wenzel. Here in the great city of Dearborn Heights, Wayne County, Michigan. Madam Chair, you have a quorum. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to have Mr. What I'm sorry, Council, I'm losing my voice, sorry. Councilman Wenzel, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. All right, um, Councilman, we need a quiet background. Okay. Next. Next, we have public hearing and comment on agenda items. You have two minutes. Raise your hand and I will call on you. Madam Chair, we need to approve the agenda. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, you're right. I crossed that off by mistake. I... Okay, we need agenda approval. Madam Chair. Councilman Abdullah. I move that we approve the agenda order of business January 28th, 2021, electronically held special meeting of the Dublin Heights City Council virtual meeting. Support. Support. Support by Councilman Muscat. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? The ayes have it. Next, we have public hearing and comment on agenda items. We have Sue here. I'm going to unmute you and lower your hand. Go ahead, please. You have two minutes. We cannot answer you, but you can, if it's on the agenda item, you're welcome to talk up to two minutes. Hi, um, I would um, like to express my um, concern that the new administration is not being transparent. I have heard directly from Chrissy Laszlo that she's been fired, yet when I approached the mayor for a comment, he sent Gary Miyake to uh, phone me, and Gary Miyake gave me a no comment as well. And I'm wondering why the new administration will not, not an comment oh, on yeah, basic yeah. items. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Sue, concern. that would that would be at the end. We will have public comment at the end and you're welcome to bring it up at that time. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, yeah, this is for agenda items only. Any other <laughs> questions, I mean, any other statements in regards to the one agenda item we have tonight? Okay. At this time, under reports from city official, Treasurer Hicks Clayton, city depositories update bank documents. Council Chair. Councilman Muscat. I uh, move that city council authorize Mayor Bill Bazzi, city clerk Lynn Marie Zub Siena, Comptroller Charles John Bonza III, and Treasurer Lisa Hicks Clayton to sign all necessary documents with the city of Dearborn Heights financial institutions to act as depositories of funds at, as JP Morgan Chase Bank, Comerica Bank, Dearborn Federal Savings Bank, Flagstar Bank, and Morgan Stanley. Also authorize the mayor, clerk, controller, and treasurer to sign all necessary documents with the financial institutes. These documents have been reviewed by the attorney as Support. outlined in 9A. Support. Supported by Councilman Zuhair. Is there any discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? The ayes have it. Next, we have comment from council members. Is there any comments? Okay. Next, we have comment, public announcements such as the library or the police department. 
Now we do open it up for public comments. At this time, I will unmute Sue, and you have three minutes. Um, hi, I would like to know why the mayor is not being transparent and making it known that he has fired Chief of Staff Chrissy Laszlo. And I would like to also know who is going to be responsible for creating and presenting the budget by April 1st, and who is going to handle the IT, and who is going to write grants. Anyone want to address that? Mayor, would you like to answer that? I would like to respond, uh, okay, Madam. This is directed to me through the mayor. It's through me, and I, I think he's trying to unmute right now. Oops, sorry, I hitched, I hit it again, Mayor. Can you please unmute it again? Yeah, for the first, for the first part, uh, for legal, uh, I'd like to have Mr. Miyaki answer that question. So you're not going to be transparent and speak for yourself? No, no, I will, but there's uh, there's a legal matter, and I'd like to have Mr. Miyaki uh, answer that. Okay, um, in what capacity is Mr. Miyaki answering this? Because at this time, we have no contract with him. Um, if you want to appoint him, that would happen at the next meeting. Okay, we can address it at the next meeting. Council Chair? Councilman Muscat? You know, I know throughout history, if you look back through history, every mayor has picked their own staff. Uh, when, um, I believe when um, uh, Ms. Laszlo took over, she took over from the late great Marge Horvath. And before that, it was um, Kurt Heisey. Um, you know, presidents of the United States, all mayors throughout the country and, and governors picked their own staffs. Um, uh, you know, so I'm guessing that's part of the, uh, part of the process that we go through. And, and I got confidence in our, our, uh, building directors and all, all of the directors of, of each department are going to come up with a good balanced budget. And, um, you know, uh, city council has been going on a long time, wanting to hiring a, um, a grant writer, I believe, uh, councilman, uh, Tom Wenzel has brought that up on more than one occasion. So um, that's my that's feelings true. toward it. I don't know how true everything okay. is, but I do know that. Councilman, it's not really our place to answer it because it was directed towards the mayor. It's We don't know for sure the I'm reason. Just, I'm just giving my again. beliefs. Just yeah, my beliefs. Well, I don't think she wants to hear a, that. If it's a matter of, of basic procedure, if it's not that big of a deal, Mayor Bozzi, why won't you speak up? Why won't you acknowledge... Chrissy Laszlo's firing, why don't you start your term with transparency instead of hiding behind Gary Miyake and not speaking your mind? You never hesitated when you were on the council to speak your mind. Why all of a sudden are you not speaking up? And when she pulled petitions to run for mayor half an hour before you fired her, one cannot help but wonder if that is not suspicious circumstance. I mean, it's, it's, it's lousy timing if nothing else, why don't you speak for yourself, sir? Why are you hiding behind a cloak of silence? It doesn't bode well for your administration. Speak now, please. Show us that you're transparent and you're a mayor of the people. Well, I'm always transparent, but for the for the for the city, for the state law, I, I, again, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to answer that question. For uh, I want to have Mr. Miyaki. We can address it at the next meeting, ma'am. I just well, I thought, week. Uh, I thought uh, Denise said that Mayaki isn't even the city attorney right now. So how can it, how can you use his services? Okay, I'll talk to whoever you know, city attorney that is handling our services right now. I, I again for because of state, you know, state law, I cannot, you know, this. Which state law, <laughs> sir, are you citing? For the employment at this time, I cannot, you know, again, you know, please, you know, we can refrain that till, you know, I talk to an attorney, mm -hmm. the city attorney to, uh, to address that. What state law, sir, are you referring to? For the, that is prohibiting you from speaking. What state law, sir, it's are, for, you, are you citing? 
again, you know, can, can we please defer that to the attorney to speak because of, you know, the, some of the stuff that came up, I, I'd like to defer that to an attorney to, uh, to answer that question. Even mayor, that, you know, the allegation that was brought forward, I just, I, 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 again, there's allegations that were brought forward. I, 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 I want to wait till I talk to a, a city attorney or whoever gets appointed before I answer that question. I yield the floor. Okay, thank you. I was waiting for that. Okay, we have Councilman Wenzel. Um, are you speaking as a resident? Yes, yes. Um, as a resident, yes, uh, 4218 uh, Two Lane Street, Dearborn Heights. Um, Council Chair, what, what would be the problem of, uh, of Gary Miyake speaking as a uh, someone that advised or, or, or represents Bill Bozzi in this matter to speak up. I don't see any issue with having a problem with that. At this time, if you remember correctly, Mr. Miyake is the attorney on a lawsuit filed against all of our city council members. That would not be appropriate for him to even give legal advice at this time because of the fact that he is suing us for the mayor. Well, wouldn't that be different though in this situation? He just, I'm sure it sounds like, I'm assuming that he gave he gave uh, Mayor Bozzi some kind of advice not to speak about this. And if he can, if he can elaborate, that did make it make a few things for uh, for Sue and maybe for us too. You know, at this time, I think we need to drop it and wait till the next meeting when Mr. Bozzi picks his corporate counsel and that counsel can speak correctly with him at this time i'm going to ask that we don't okay. go any further into this all right all right i respect that the next meeting because i'm sure he will come up with a corporate council I, I, I agree on that uh madam chair um you know you know what's advice i mean you know there could be a litigation there and i think you know mayor bazzi wants to not say nothing i think that's something that he has that right you know to plead the fifth and not say anything um you know whatever decisions were, were made and I think that if he's not going to respond to that, he's just not going to respond to that. I don't think he should have to. Yeah. I don't think Mayor I should not have to respond today. Let him have his attorney once he appoints one. Then we can address it after that, after we approve an appointment for his attorney. Okay. Or actually corporate counsel attorney, I should say. And next I have um, Councilman Zuhair. Are you speaking as a resident or a councilman? I'm speaking as a resident. Mr. Bezzi, he just got the, into office less than 48 hours. I think the lady has every right to know why Chrissy was fired. But I think, on the other hand, let's give the mayor some space to give us the reason why he fired her. It is only fair that to give him that time, and it's, it is fair for the lady to know why. You know, at this time, I think we're wasting too much time discussing something we really don't need to today. Um, give Mayor Bazzi until the next meeting when he has his own corporate council that will be approved by us. Um, I think that's fair for him. Are you okay with that, Mayor? Yes. At this time, if anybody else is going to... I think Jeremy is holding his hand. Excuse me. At this time, if anyone else is going to comment in regards to what happened with the mayor and the chief of staff, I'm going to have to stop you because we, we're not going to take it any further. So if that's what your reason is, I'm going to ask you to take your hand down. Um, if you've got something else to comment on, no problem. Um, we've got Councilman Abdullah. Go ahead, please. Um, just want to comment in regards to our current uh, treasurer, Lisa Hicks Clayton. I'm speaking, uh, first of all, Dave Abdallah of One Cabri Lane. Um, actually, I'm speaking more on behalf of the resident who I just want to fully compliment her. She did an absolutely great job. There was an issue with the resident with uh, some payments to be made uh, without getting into the details of it. And she went above and beyond researching the situation, finding out what the problem is. Uh, getting back with me so I could get back with the resident and translate to him what she was telling me uh, and then emails and uh, left voicemails. So just, just want to let you know, I'm, I'm, I'm big on customer service in my business and she gave 
her and her team gave customer service that was just above and beyond. So I just want to say kudos, good job, very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, at this time we have Gary Miyake. I'm going to warn you not to speak in regards to anything in regards to what I've asked you not to and honor the mayor's wishes. Go ahead, please. You have three minutes. I'm. It, if you're speaking on something else, if you're gonna speak in regards to the legalities, I will ask you to stop. All right, Gary Mayotte, Plainfield Street. Uh, two things, one, I have a question for city treasurer. Uh, the city treasurer could tell me, uh, do I still need to look at the thing that we were talking about before? No, we're good, thank you. And thank okay. you for asking. Okay. But I do have it in your box if you're interested. Yeah, I picked it up. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. All right. And the second thing is, is that I would be more than happy to address the question that was raised uh, by the member of the press. Uh, it's a simple answer to a question. It doesn't go into any details. And it actually would be potentially of benefit to members of the council as well to let me end up saying this. I so, ask you not to, sir, at this time, you're not legally representing the city. You have filed a lawsuit against all of the council members and me personally. You are part uh, the of council, that. Council chair, uh, I did not file a lawsuit against all of the members of the council. You are the only individual defendant, and that was for Mayor Poletko. And you're aware that that should be in the process of being resolved. There is no conflict in me addressing this issue. And it's important that the city end up having representation and that it end up being protected. And, you know, in, in the interest of transparency, I think it would be helpful if the mayor wanted me to do so. If he doesn't want me to do so, then I won't address it. I'll, I'll... I think at this time, I asked you to not do this and you're going against my wishes. I, the press did call you directly. You did have a chance to reply at that time and for whatever reason you didn't i'm gonna respect no, I, I, the mayor I, 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 and I, ask him to bring his corporate counsel forward at the next meeting and then answer that appropriately okay. at the time but but and, i but I, what i'm saying is that i i did not end up giving an answer to the question that she asked so if you want if, to answer outside the meeting you can call her back i i like i said it sounded like she already called you for an answer and you didn't give her, you said no comment. No, so. no, no, I, I, I wasn't asked the question that she currently asked in terms of what law. I could say what the law is and that would probably answer things very quickly. I don't know how that would be problematic, but. Let's wait till next meeting. At this time, I don't Fair want enough. to drag this out. I mean, I'm trying to keep it calm is where I'm going. I don't want okay. everybody else getting up and talking. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Please understand, thank you. Is there any other public comment before we end the meeting? Okay, at this time, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Or forward. Adjourn by Councilman Muscat. Do I hear a support? Support. Support by Councilman Baidu. Everybody have a good night. You too. Good night. Good evening. Oh, we got a vote, we got a vote. Take a vote. Take a vote. <laughs> Take a vote. <laughs> Um, oh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? No. The ayes have it. Goodbye, night, everybody. Uh, have you a know good, what? Safe we got to take a roll call. Wait, don't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll do okay, roll. Now, okay, now, okay, Councilman Muscat? Uh, yes. Councilman Constant? Yes. Councilman Chuhair? Abdul yeah. Yes. Councilman Abdullah? Yes. Councilman Baydoun? Yes. Councilman Wenzel? No. Melanowski Maxwell? Yes. Meeting is adjourned. Have a good night, everyone. Uh -huh. Thank you.